like that guy in Scary Movie with the one big hand and the one little hand. Hey, grab my little hand. It's my strong hand. Hey guys, Brick McBricksworth here, and today I'm not going to bring you one review. I'm not going to bring you two reviews. I'm going to bring you three reviews in one. Today, I'm going to bring you the Miles Morales 76171 Mech Armor. The Captain America 76168 Mech Armor. And the Thor 76169 Mech Armor armor all new for 2021 nine pounds each so can't grumble at the price under a tenner cannot grumble at that each one you get a minifigure each one you get a small buildable mech with some quirky bit to it now by the looks of things on the box let's have a look at the thor one in a bit more detail you get a nice looking like a nice big millionaire and I like the box art on the side of it as well with the Marvel superheroes, more the cartoony, uh, more recent game style one. Uh, so yeah, that's that one. The Thor minifigure looks pretty good inside that one. So I can't wait to build that one. And then onto Captain America. It looks like we're going to get a rather large shield for the back of this one. Again, cool minifigure with the helmet piece as opposed to the printed piece, which is always good. So yeah, that one's, again, with the box art on the side is the Avengers style one. This one's slightly different. Miles Morales, mech, and it's got them really cool looking uh, electronic webs, which looks pretty, really cool. Uh, the, the minifigure is the star of the show of this one, the Miles Morales minifigure. And slight box art different there. It's Spider-Man style box art. So yeah, this one looks pretty, pretty cool as well. I think I've already picked my favorite. Uh, if you guys have got a favorite in these three, by all means, comment below. I will build them up, give you a review of each one and show you each one individually, show you them all together. We did have last time, we had the Spider-Man mech, the Thanos mech, and the Iron Man mech, and they were all pretty cool as well. So all six together should look pretty cool and pretty inexpensive as well. Guys, I'm gonna build these up and I'm gonna show you them now. So guys, here we have the three mechs, all built up and ready to go. These guys look like they're ready to fight crime on a hero scale. So we've got Thor here with his big, massive millionaire, and he looks just ever so cool in that one. We'll go through each one individually in a second, but let's just see them all together. Miles Morales in the middle, doing his proper pose there. You know, he's, uh, he's shooting his electric webs. And we've got Captain America just there with his whoppingly large shield, which is all pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you each one of these individually as well. So let's move these two out of the way first, because I built the Captain America one first. Let's go through this one first. So yeah, we've got the big, massive Captain America shield. And all of these are on, you know, like on the ball joints and stuff. So that's pretty good. So you can, you can properly pose them out. So you can pose his shield on top of his head, in front of him, around the back, anywhere you want. But you can actually take the shield off and have it behind him in sort of a, it does actually clip in. So you can have it in sort of a position behind there, which is pretty good as well. So yeah, poseable fingers and thumb bits. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, I like the simplistic design on it. Um, several ball joints, so it is really, really easy to move around which is pretty good. That does come off if you move his arms in such position. I'll move this out of the way for now. But yeah, so no stickers in this one. That's a printed piece, big printed shield, which is really, really awesome. And the Captain America minifigure, which let's have a look at him is, I think you'll agree, very, very awesome. So he's all in his, uh, natural blue the, the printing on it is pretty darn good 
and you take the helmet off you've got the strap side and then on the other side you've got no strap side but Steve Rogers face there but you know you don't get like an alternative headpiece so it's just like looks like no strap looks like strap make of that what you will but that's pretty cool as well so he just sits in there nicely just not clipped in just sits in nicely and there you go legs again are on several ball joints which make it all nice and maneuverable and then you've got the captain america shield there which i've just fired off captain america shield there which the minifigure can hold on to just clips on the back there nice little clip area just to house that shield but yeah so very very poseable and pretty strong they're staying together you know they shouldn't break up and you know you can really really screw with that one but yeah that's pretty cool uh the other ones much along the same lines the thor mech is again it's it's the same sort of design same sort of build really but there is a lot of stickers on this one these are stickers the stickers on millenure itself uh that's a printed piece which is very cool and i love the shield piece which is um printed with the like you know thor buttons i suppose <laughs> well yeah that's pretty that's pretty cool uh, a couple of stickers there as well so there is quite a few stickers on this one but yeah so i like you know like you like i like posing these ones and that's a pretty good pose for him you know, like it just looks like a powerful you know god of thunder you know it's really powerful in that pose uh let's have a look at the thor minifigure I'll pop him on here so that I can show you him in his entirety. Again, with the, uh, you got a small millionaire there, uh, what clips onto the side of that one. So it's it's all thought about very well. So yeah, let's have a look at Thor. Let's move him out of the way so he focuses in. So yeah, we've got the electric eyes Thor on this one, which is pretty cool. I love, love the detail on that. The helmet's pretty cool as well on this one then detailing on the back so it's like it shines up in the light nicely so it looks gray and then it shines up nicely uh alternative alternative face on that one is beardy thor which is pretty cool yeah so that is awesome again very very awesome so that one again it just clips in he slides in there millenia just clips into the clip on the leg piece hey presto You've got yourself a nice Thor. Now, the, this next one is the crown jewel in these small mechs. The Miles Morales one. And it's not for the mech. This is the crown jewel because purely the minifigure. I'm going to show you the minifigure straight away and then we'll get to the mech on this one. So the minifigure is all kinds of awesome it's just that hood piece it looks really cool it fits in really well with the hoodie i mean you don't have to have it on so you got like the back printing of the web head look on the thing so you got that printing of the spider-man logo there and everything he's got it's just so cool so you know the the dual molded leg pieces for the pants well shorts with like under tracky bottoms on or something like that and it just is awesome this one absolutely amazing cool minifigure an inexpensive way of getting a really really cool minifigure uh getting these things so let's have a look at the mech so we've got the electric web shooting out of the hand on this one well the look of it because it's just a clip piece in there so that looks pretty cool again and then you've got all the pieces clipped in nicely behind Too about them two being like a different off color blue i suppose it would have been you know we can't really get that sort of trans blue in there but maybe just done it in black just to look like i don't know um they, they kind of stick out a little bit them colors but nothing too major the one thing i noticed about this one on um when i was building it is the feet i mean look at the captain america mech feet feet and the thor feet are the same these big massive feet and then you look at miles morales's dainty little hoofs that he's got <laughs> so that's it's just it looks funny 
compared to me it just looks so funny compared to the thor one and whatnot it's like thor's one he's got big feet to hold up his big ample hammer and frame and miles morales has got tiny little skid feet <laughs> it just looks so funny so guys let's have a look at these three with the older three as well so first we've got the iron man mech so we've got iron man thor miles morales and captain america now and we've got spider-man so we've got you know peter parker spider-man which is really really cool as well so these are like getting really 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 awesome moving the camera back a little bit just to get them all in shot because there's quite a few here and then you get thanos with his big massive hand <laughs> and his infinity gauntlet with his big massive hand it's like that guy in Scary Movie with the one big hand and the one little hand. Hey, grab my little hand. It's my strong hand. <laughs> I don't know if Thanos talks like that. I don't think he does. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, let's, let's look at the old minifigures. I mean, the Thanos one, it's been said before, it's a bit pointless because Thanos was already pretty big. And so that one just doesn't make sense. The hero ones, they definitely do make sense. They're pretty good. I like the Iron Man shooter on the Iron Man one. Uh, the spider webs on. Spider-Man looks pretty cool. And these things here, these like spider arms look pretty cool. Thanos' big hand. Anyway. Yeah. So, all six of them together. Let's have a look at all six of them together. They're pretty cool. These are the six solo pack ones. Now I have been informed off some of one of my other friends that there was a Venom one, but that came in a set with something else. So personally, I don't think it counts. It's not one of these solo mechs. What do you think? Let us know below if you agree with him or you agree with me. These guys are the six mechs that we've had. Um, the Venom one would be cool to have as well, but he wasn't a solo set for less than 10 pounds. So yeah. Guys, if you like the video, give us a little thumbs up and comment down below which one of them you think is your favourite. I picked that one. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. It always helps. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.